here, and I can have you help. But, uh... Oops. Sorry, everybody. So, you know, my boy wanted to come hang out in the basement with me. Probably not the best idea when you're grinding. He bumped me. And let's just say it wasn't good. I was working on the transfers. And I ended up taking a chunk out at, uh, at the bridge in between the two transfers, you know. But I figured, what the heck. Let's see what this thing looks like if I remove all the material that I would need to, you know, to fix that issue. And let's just say... It's a lot. So now I'm trying to debate whether or not I just uh, start over. I do have another cylinder here. So it's, I got another cylinder and a half dozen other saws. So I can, you know, start over. But uh, one of them situations, you know. All right, so this is what it looks like. What do you think? Too much? That's what I had to do in order to fix the problem. I went ahead and ground both sides to look the same. But. There's pretty much no more bridge in there. The rings will come down past that bridge. They will go down past that point. That's what happens when you get bumped, you know. So now I got to decide whether to start over or to go ahead and run with this. I was not planning on going anywhere near this far. Not even close. This is just what I had to do in order to fix that problem. So what do you think? Should I run with it? I mean, this, this was a part saw to begin with anyway, you know. Sometimes you got to go too far to find out, I guess. But I, I was actually aiming for a very mild port. Just to give it a tiny boost. And I wanted to take it up in steps, you know. Mm. So... I just, before, before we get too far here, I just want to say, um, if you're considering porting or doing some of this yourself, remember, there is a lot of stuff that I'm not talking about, that I haven't explained. The most important things for you to learn if you're just starting out with working on your saws and stuff forth, the basics. You gotta get good at the basics first. You've seen me posting videos on air leaks. Seen me posting some videos on tuning. Some stuff about sharpening. You have to get good at those skills before you get into the porting. Porting will take the smallest issue and turn it into a mountain. A big mountain. A small air leak will be a big air leak. You know, a chain that's just a little off will be way off. Keep that in mind if you're looking to learn this stuff. 
Just remember, start with the basics and work your way up. Okay? I think it's the best piece of advice I could give anybody right now who's trying to learn how to port. You start with the basics. Air leaks, tuning, sharpening, basic maintenance.